So we're ready to fish. I'm going to send my bait and weight over the side, drop it to about 90 feet. Then I'm going to send it back away from the boat using this large float. The grouper, when he takes it, is going to tire himself out trying to pull this float underwater. Then it's going to be hopefully fairly simple for me to wind him back to the boat using a rod. Then we'll hand line him in. Once the fish is on board, it'll be anesthetized using clove oil in the anesthetic bath then move to the operating sling for the tag implant and finally out into the recovery bath before release. Oh, whoa, whoa. As soon as Neil's Hang line on. hits the reef, a grouper takes the bait. Yep, there he is. This is a grouper. No question, he's pulling like a train. This is about 30 pounds of drag on this. And we're gonna try and get him into the boat. We're not gonna bring him in too quickly because we don't want them to get too puffed up with gas. As the fish rises, the gases in its body expand, pressurizing the fish from the inside. By slowing the grouper's ascent, Neil tries to reduce the effects of barotrauma. Just like when we've done a dive and we do a safety stop, I'm going to do a safety stop on this fish. The team's getting everything ready behind me. Let's see if we can get this fish into the boat and into the anesthetic solution and get this tag placed. So he's got some marks on him where he's obviously been down into the rocks. When we first felt the bite, I felt him get snagged in the rocks. And then as he came out, so I was able to pull him up to the surface. So here we go. Ready? Yeah. Dylan yeah. and Oscar position their gloved hands carefully on the inside edge of the gill plate to lift the grouper up and onto the boat. Once in the sling, the team moved the animal into the anesthetic bath. So we've got him in the sling, we've got his gills in the water, and we've got the anesthetic solution, not only in the bath, but also being pumped over his gills. So we're just gonna get him back in the sling, then as soon as we think that he's lost his ability to kick, we're gonna lift him out and put him in the operating table. Yeah, if you, cause you got the gloves, if you wanna maybe hold them up, right? That's probably the better way to go. The clove oil enters the grouper's body through yeah. the gills. Once in the bloodstream, it slows the grouper's respiration and heart rate until it's fully anesthetized. So, Tammy, we can see this fish is a percular moving in and out. What do you think yeah. about his condition? I think he looks pretty good, Neil. His color's still pretty good. So um, he is a little scraped up from, yeah. the, from the reef, but his color's really good. So, um, and, he's, and his operculum is coming in and out, so he's breathing fairly well. I think that's enough. Yeah. Right. So I now say. I think we've got him anesthetized enough. We're now going to yeah. lift him out, turn him upside down, put him in our sling. So I've prepped my surgery site with some iodine, just as I would when I was doing any operation in my operating theater at Ensme. Now I'm going to take my surgical blade. This is a little stronger than my average scalpel blade because it's a tough fish. I'm going to make a cut in his abdomen just off the midline. Squeamish, look away. So there we are, I'm through to his abdomen. I'm gonna now extend that cut a tiny bit and I'm gonna insert my tag. Here it is, this is my satellite tag. The magnet's been taken off, it's already transmitting. It goes into the body cavity as simply as that. Close the body cavity, now I'm gonna stitch him up. What actually makes it difficult suturing these fish is not the skin, it's the scales. They have leather, just as any animal skin is leather but they also have these scales, which can get caught on the tip of this needle. I'm delighted with how this has gone so far. I have to say, Dr. Trot, I think we're making excellent time, are we not? Yes, you are. So Dr. Trot is also gonna place a National Marine Fisheries tag in this fish, which will be an external identification. And let us know this fish has been tagged before. Of course, the acoustic tag cannot be seen by anybody, and nobody is gonna see this little suture line on this big grouper. The final stage of the process is to lower the grouper into the recovery bath. Fresh seawater flushes the clove oil from the animal and prepares it for release. So he's starting to uh, use his pectoral fins much more. His respiration rate is coming up. He's waking up. We're just waiting to, for him to get a writing reflex, for him to try and bring himself into an upright position. It's a bit difficult because he is still gassed, remember? But once he's fighting a bit more, then we're going to take him to the back and let him go. Okay. Yeah, you got him. That. I'll go a little. Choi has opted to use a small weight. Okay. The weight will pull the animal back down to the reef, allowing its gases to recompress. 
Tammy has also released some of its gases with a hypodermic needle. This is a common procedure and ensures the fish makes it back to its original catch depth. Yeah. Whenever you guys are ready, I'll follow you because okay, you're three, lifting. Two, two, one, go. Yeah, I'm just securing the weight. You guys have all the fish's weight. Despite the team's care, this fish has been through a very invasive right, procedure. Yeah. But this procedure has protected this species from local extinction for several years. Just make two, one, down. Yeah. As a veterinarian, Neil's primary concern is always the welfare of the animals he's working with. The team hope the new tag trap will vastly reduce the need for such invasive procedures in the future. Oh, so it looked like it went great. The release weight pulled him nicely down. What happened when we popped it off? Yeah, it was amazing. They, the release weight worked perfectly. It went down, popped off one time, no jerking or whatever, and then it swam off and then Kid in a little reef for a little bit. I'm ecstatic. Great job. Well done, Joy. Good well job, done, team. Boys. Yeah. Well done, everybody. Nice one. Take the camera. Yeah, you got the camera.